I'm Paige Checky. This is my sister Lauren. This is my dad Mike, and we're a family that smokes cannabis together. I was taught from a very young age that marijuana is bad, and it's something that you should stay away from, and it's something that you should say no to. When I was a sophomore in high school, we decided to go on a family vacation to Jamaica. So we all piled into this Bob Marley themed bus. So we finally get to Bob Marley's house and my dad's the first online. So that's when I started to figure out that, you know, he might be a cannabis user. <laughs> I'm the dad. I'm 66 years old. And I've been in the cannabis for probably 50 years. I didn't go out of my way to say, you know, come on, we have it, I have it, you could have it. None of that. I felt that, you know, they were on their own. You know, if they were going to smoke it, they were going to have to find their own. We had like this understanding that we all enjoyed cannabis, but because of societal pressures, I guess, we kept it to ourselves until it was an appropriate age. You know, until I went to college, we didn't consume together. We're about to sit down for Thanksgiving dinner and me and my sister give the look. <laughs> Are we gonna we go puff? <laughs> then we look across the table and we see that dad saw our look. We look at dad and we're like, he's definitely gonna go smoke upstairs in his bathroom. So uh, let's all go smoke together. So we were right out in the backyard and we weren't really far from the house. And we we're passing it, you know, pass, pass, puff. And all of a sudden you see like everybody's looking out the window at us. Like, what is going on out there? <laughs> uh, but that was kind of the, the, the defining, I think that kind of took the edge off of the whole family. So ever since we started smoking together on Thanksgiving, now we kind of do it when we see each other. But I always had the checks and balances in place. You know, I, I know that they weren't, you know, smoking for five days straight and didn't know what was going on. And, and I was always cautious about it being what everybody calls, uh, you know, the entry drug. You know, as far as anyone getting harmed on cannabis, I can't reflect back on any bad situation related to cannabis. Recreational laws haven't caught up in Connecticut yet, so we do it the old school way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about my daughters or myself being arrested because there is those compliance issues that carrying is okay as long as you have small quantities. And we don't go out of our way to get into trouble. I wrote my thesis on the cannabis industry, so now I'm consulting on business and product development. I really do love my job, and one of the main reasons why is because I have the freedom to pursue it without feeling like my family's gonna judge me. And as long as they like what they're doing and they're creating and they're moving along, I think it's all good. We turned out pretty freaking awesome. We, we turned out pretty cool. <laughs>